Okay, exhibitors, vendors, speakers for Loud and Veg Fest. It's Mike and Denise. You'll see us tomorrow morning. This is who you're gonna see when you show up, actually. But this video is to show you how to get here. So let me flip the camera around. Basically, it's one way in, one way out. You've got to get here using the right directions, the right method. This is the intersection you want to get to first before you get to the event, which as you can see is Russell Branch Parkway and Balch Drive Southeast. Actually, that direction is muddy siltstone way. You don't want to go that way. You want to be Russell Branch and Balch Drive Southeast. You want to head down Balch Drive Southeast and let's walk down here because you're going to, you're basically going to arrive at this intersection. You're going to go down this direction. You got to be driving this way. This has to look familiar in the morning. And you can get here as, as pretty much as early as you want. We'll be here at sunrise. You have to be finished loading out by 9.30 because we have streets closed off here and they, they will have to make you move out of the way for the people to come in who are in the event because people are going to be walking all the streets. So just keep that in mind. Get here as early as you can and drive down this street. And the easy trick to, to, to make sure that you're going to end up exactly here is to type in the following address. You'll see it. And basically it'll put you right out in front, right where that white car is. It'll take you to this point. It'll bring, it most likely will bring you there. It should bring you there. I don't know why it wouldn't bring you this way because that street doesn't even go through. So it's, here's the address, Balch Drive Southeast. You saw that, it's 1501. Type that into your GPS, 1501 Balch Drive Southeast. Then keep going past that after you've arrived and you want to go to the stop sign and right at, on the other side of the street, the stop sign, you will see barricades. It'll be blocked off. You'll see my black Tesla with the trailer for all the equipment parked on the street. So you'll know you're in the right location and you'll see Denise who's waving it, right? right. So you'll see friendly Denise in the morning. What happens is you'll check in. You'll, no one's going to back up. It's one way in, one way out. So you pull up here. No one else is going to be here. It'll be quiet Sunday morning. And she will give you your assignment, tell you how to get there. And we'll keep walking. I guess we're going to do this continuous in one take. And this is going to be where the event is. So you have to go in. She'll either direct you to your spot, which is going to be making a right turn or a left turn. Actually, it says right turn only now, but it doesn't, it won't matter because you'll be able to go either direction. We'll be setting up over here, putting our big video wall up, six feet tall by 12 feet wide. It's where all the presenters are going to be, the speakers. We've got chairs here. Tell people, to, including yourself, bring your own chair. We have some chairs. We're going to angle them towards there, but we're not going to have chairs everywhere. And then we're going to be set up with tents where all the cars are parked down there on that block. The whole block's closed off. It'll be blocked off from the other end too. Do not try to come in that way. Okay, do not. Uh, what, we're either going to send you around one way or around the other way. We're going to have to, we're gonna have to make our own little thing here. We're going to cross the street so we're not blocking traffic. But that's where you'll be set up, either down that end. And if you have electricity, let Denise know only four people have electricity. And that's all we've got at this point in time. We can't even give out any more. We need all the electricity we have for the stage over here. And then we have like one circuit over there, one circuit on the other side, the right side. Same thing down here, one circuit here, one circuit there. So we have four people and we're, we are full on electricity, unfortunately. So hopefully you do not need it. Just keep that in mind. And then you could be here, either tents here and then tents here where the cars are, are perpendicular or parallel. So one block, two blocks, right in the center here at Village of Leesburg. So you'll have a really big crowd, I think, because you got, you're gonna have people, as you can see, just walking by who are normally here on a weekend and you can have people who are here for the event. So make sure you share it with all your sphere of influence and we'll see you here in the morning. You know how to get here now. You'll find out all the additional information tomorrow in the morning. And if you're reading this link through the email, all the information's on the email too. So make sure if you have not received an email and you got this link that you check your spam or another vendor that's gonna be here that you know of and just get the email from them. Everyone got the same email. So that's it, this is our, this is our area. See you tomorrow. Look forward to a good day. Great day, right? See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Okay, guess what? We're not done. Thanks so much for watching. We are gonna have to modify the procedure, so it's very important that you keep watching. What we're showing you right now is the, the very end of the back row. The back row is gonna be one way only. The back row is actually gonna have to turn rather than going straight when you see Denise, but Denise will tell you. So it's important to, to understand this because Depending upon when you arrive, you will either be in the front rows and you'll go left or right like we showed earlier, or you'll be in the back row and you have to access it. Basically, that's our event center down there, center of our event. And you will 
make a right turn, then a left, then another left, and you'll come straight down here all the way. If Denise directs you to the back row, we're talking right now, she smile, so much fun. Mm -hmm. uh, direct you to the back row. You will not have your pick of places. You will have to drive all the way to the end, and we're gonna have spots where all the cars are, so we'll have spots on the right and on the left. We'll have to pack them all in. So do not just pack them in on this side alone, okay? On the right alone. If the, the left's open and we start to move back because you need to have to stop your vehicle and unload for a while, you gotta start picking a spot and taking a spot from here. Otherwise, we will not be able to fit everyone into the event. We have so many vendors that are gonna be at this event, which is gonna be awesome, but we have to get everyone in as tight as possible. So please recognize this and realize it's one way. And as soon as you're done, you gotta get your vehicle and get out of here. And we need you to pack in as tight as possible. We need you to kind of self-police like the honor system. That's how I look at it, the honor system. So if you're in the back, that's what you wanna do. If you're, even if you turn left, there's spots starting on those parked cars on the side. You gotta, you gotta go to the very last one and you need to set up there. Next person that comes in, second spot. And get your tents in tight. There are no space restrictions or anything here at this event and in terms of uh, distance from one another and tents. But there are space restrictions in terms of how much space we're gonna have for all the exhibitors and all the vendors. So we need you to go tight. If you have any questions about that, ask Denise immediately, but please review this again if you're not sure. Thank you again for watching and there's more here too. And in just a second, let's cut to another scene. Okay, Mike and Denise again, we're back and we're actually at the location you're gonna to drive to. Remember, you're starting, you're starting over here at this traffic light. You're gonna come this way and you'll see these barriers right here. We need you to stop right here. And we showed you there's two different sides of the street you're going to be on. There's like the, the front row, which you'll turn left or right. And that, like that truck's going in. They're going to, have to actually have to turn right. But if you're in the back row, and we, only need, we need to make that one direction only, only one way, what you're going to have to do, and I'm spinning this camera around so you can kind of keep your sense of direction, is Denise, it, Denise will tell you if you're in the back row. And we cannot make any exceptions. We have to do this as people arrive because it is very, very tight, the loading and unloading. You'll end up turning right here. And you'll walk down, let me flip the camera. Okay, you'll drive down, sorry. Denise is correcting me, she's right. So you'll, you'll, if she directs you to the back row, you will go this way, you'll follow the arrow. You go all the way out to this stop sign. All right, so you get to this stop sign and then you will make a left. Make a left. As you're making a left, you will you know, go down the center aisle. You'll see that our festival is on the left side. The right side will be open and our festival will be on the left. All right, so these barriers will be up blocking the streets. As you approach this intersection, if you're in the back row, again, this is only for back row people. I'm making this video so that you don't have to wonder what the heck's going on in the morning. You'll know exactly what you're gonna do. If you're a back row, you're gonna make the left turn. This will, there'll probably be a barrier here. There may or may not be a barrier here. If there is, just move it out of the way. Do not come down here unless Denise has directed you from that spot we were just at. It's the only way you should be down here. Otherwise, we will be having total gridlock and half the vendors, and it may be you, won't be unloading. And by the way, you know, it's first come, first serve, so get here as soon as you can, especially if you have electricity. If you have electricity, please. We have to space you out. We have to have one electricity in this quadrant, one electricity in that quadrant, which has some tents there and there. And remember, tents only go where there's actual parking spots. They do not go in the fire lanes. Keep that in mind. Don't even think about setting up in a fire lane. We need to have access for emergency vehicles during the event, even though the streets will be closed off. So only parking spots, including diagonals. Remember, we have to, we have to kind of put, push everything in so it's nice and tight because we just don't have any extra space, unfortunately. So you'll continue to go all the way down here. Again, if you're in the back row, you will keep driving, just keep driving. And of course, if, you, if you're the person that has the uh, electricity in that quadrant, you're not gonna be going in until all of this quadrant is full since it's one way. Again, keep this in mind. It's the only way we can do it. This is a great venue. It's gonna have a lot of people here, but we have to do it this way. So you will continue down here all the way to the stop sign. And if you remember, this is where we started off this second part of the video with me standing down there. So you'll come all the way down. You'll start, you'll start setting up either left or right bring all, packing in tight all the way back. And you'll, you'll go all the way to the end to, the, to the, the furthest open space and then you'll stop your vehicle, you'll unload everything and then you'll go park. And you can park anywhere unless you have a trailer. And in that case, check the map I sent you. You'll go down to the movie theater, you'll turn right and way in the spot back in, the, in there is where the trailer parking is. You have to park there so you don't get towed. So hopefully that's clear for the back row people. 
Similar is for the other quadrants, which we're going to walk through in just a second too. But back row, again, you'll start seeing tents here, 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 here. You'll be tents all where these cars are. And then as they just fill up and we fill this entire quadrant up, hopefully we'll have our uh, one electric vendor here. Remember, we have nothing else to give out. They paid extra for this too. We have to accommodate. And those are the only accommodations we can make. Then once all these are filled all the way back, then you can start at, uh, where that truck is on the left in that quadrant and all the way back. If all that makes sense, hopefully it does. Okay, we are in the center of the events area here. There's a map in case you get lost or you can't find the one on your phone or you can't find the one that I attached to you. But you're gonna come in, here's the traffic light, Russell Branch Parkway. You're gonna drive down here and you're gonna put this 1501 uh, Balch Drive Southeast in your GPS. It'll take you to right here. But then you'll see Denise at the next corner. This is just a review. Make sure everybody has studied for the test, which is tomorrow morning. She will either tell you to come down here and turn right into the uh, front row quadrant or turn left in the front row quadrant or for many of you she will tell you to turn right here on red hawk make a left and make a left and go into the back row the back row all right which is one way and start loading in go all the way to the end and load in this is what we uh, have showed you so far so make sure everyone's clear on that and then for your trailer parking you know you can there's all kinds of free parking around here as you can see trailer parking is back here i believe somewhere in the back end uh it's on the map too that i gave you but you have to you know, keep going, you have to follow, if you got a trailer, back in here somewhere, that's where you go. Okay, we are back again to the meeting spot. I wanna go over a few other last, last minute details. All right, again, that's the traffic light. You're gonna come down here, you're gonna meet Denise right here. Don't drive past here unless Denise has given you instructions, but I wanna go over the different quadrants and things. So, in the final analysis, you're gonna be given some directions from Denise. You're gonna to be told to go to the front row right, which is that way, that's where that car is gonna go, or front row left, which is where that pedestrian's walking. If she tells you either that, that's easy enough. It's the back row, which is where most of you are gonna go, all right? You know, remember to turn down the street, make a left, make another left, and you'll head all the way down and pack in in the back. Hopefully that is totally clear to you guys. If you are not sure about this, please watch and rewatch this video, right? Because it, it's been, it's, it's the only way we can do it, right? I mean, there's, a, there's no other way to do loading at, at this site, but again. The streets are one way. It, yeah, they're one way. There's no room for everybody to just park wherever and move their stuff. We, we have to get you in in the order that you arrive. That's right. So she'll tell you one of three things. You'll be turn right front row, turn right, uh, turn, turn left front row, or you're going into the back row and you're gonna work your way around. You'll either be in the left side quadrant. You'll start off in the left side quadrant loading in until that's totally packed in. And then you will end up in the, in the right side quadrant back row, filling in in reverse so that it's one way unloading. As soon as you're done unloading, please go find a parking spot. Don't wait. Don't wait till you're done, right? Just unload and go. Dump it and run yeah, and then come back. Set yeah. And, and uh, hopefully this is clear. Uh, uh, we hope we've put a lot of thought into this. As you can see, we've, we've evolved even during the course of this video from what yeah. we started off saying because we don't want to have any problems tomorrow. And the more you watch this video, the less problems we're going to have, I think, you know, and everything's going to go smooth and everybody will have fun. Like I said, this is a great venue. Look at all the traffic coming here. There's all kinds of people. None of, the, none of these people are here for an event, okay? But when they see what we all have here tomorrow, they're, they're going to be maybe some of your new customers. So you'll be glad you're here. So we're, we're glad you're, you're going to be here and we'll see you in the morning, right? Finally, I think this is we're finally signing out. See you tomorrow. Bye. Denise is working, we're gonna do a live stream actually here for tomorrow. But before I forget, one other thing, if you wanna get out of here quickly at three o'clock when the event ends and no one can leave, no one can pack up or anything, of course, as you know, until the event ends officially at 3 p.m., the best chance of you getting out of here as close to 3 p.m. as possible is if you arrive early, as early as you can tomorrow morning. People who arrive later, because we have to be totally done with setup at 9.30 here, we can't have any cars even coming in here at 9.30, even though the event doesn't start till 10, because the streets are closed we you have a better chance of getting out of here fast if you do not arrive at a later time tomorrow to start to get your spot and everything because if you get the spot the nieces and i are going to have to tell people one by one to go get your car and we're going to have people who have loaded in first drive through first because we again we only have one direction to work with right so that's the only way we can do it so just a little tip a little hack for your vendors for the event right 
FIFO, first in, first out. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> for you, you accountants. <laughs> Vendors, one last thing. Thank you for watching all the way to the end because we keep adding things. Clean up, you gotta clean up. Do not leave any trash here. Okay, leave no trace. It's kind of like hiking in the woods. And don't use the trash cans that are around here. You'll see like circular trash cans that are around. Don't use those, those are for consumers. Those are for end users, that are your customers. Yeah. For you, there's dumpsters. All, all around here are parking garages. You can see one over there in the back. And back where the parking garages are on all directions are dumpsters. Feel free to use any of them. We've had, you know, if you have permission from the, uh, the property owners, that's what you want to do. And they insist actually that you do that. Yeah. Use their dumpsters. Do not leave your trash here, right? Yeah, don't leave your cooking oil containers here. You know who you are. Uh, yeah, and we don't want to have to levy a fine on you. We will levy a fine. We're the <laughs> vegan police, right? Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.